tuia ki te rangi tuia ki te papa tuia ki te here tangata ka rongo te pō ka rongo te aoti hei mauri ora. Enga iwi o ngā hau e whānau mai, whakatau mai rā ki tēnei papa hōtanga, a mai te whanganu i ātara te upoko te ika ki a koutou ki te kāinga tēnā rā koutou katoa. E hoki ngā mahara ki a rātou ko whetu rangi tia, hairi atu rā ki te pō, tātou te hunga ora nau mai te ao. Tēnā rā koutou ko nō uta hau e uri nō Ngāti Prau ngā rua hine me te āti awa nei rā te mihi. Kia koe, tēnā koe te tua hine. Kia ora rā e te tunane, kia ora ko marae a te pā hau he uri nō te uru wera, Nō te hapu o Hāmua nā te mūra e mihi atu ki a koutou i te atanei. Welcome, I'm Mariah Tepa, all the way from the beautiful valley of Ruatoki, coming here from Pōneke to you. Yes, a huge day today. E whakanuia i ngā rangatira mō te ngā pōpōtanga, engari ngā rangatira mō e nei rā te rā o ngā tamariki e hoa. Hoa no, i tēnei wā, i whakatūwhera i tēnei o ngā kaupapa, he mai a tā tautoko, mai ngā uri o te kohu e ki ngā tamariki o te kohu, ara rā ngā pōtiki o uta. Kai a koe te wā karawhiu. E tāriki, he a tāwā koe, He la ni ma ye He ma wa ni Si a ho ma He fe tu ma to Nga Pōtiki o Uta. Kia ora to our beautiful tamariki who have opened our rā today to launch, well, a special launch of our new kaupapa going forward. I'm Mariah Tefa and myself and Noel Woods will be guiding you today on our launch of our new kaupapa. And yes, it's been a long journey. And thinking about this kaupapa, you know, we would have loved to have a kaupapa where we could do a tinana, have a big celebration. However, with COVID, you know, we have to change it up. So no kai today, but hopefully you'll be having your own kai um, to remember the good times, the learnings, the connections that you made on this journey 17 years ago in 10 months when, when Skip was designed and came to this world. And thinking about that, Skip, strategies for kids, information for parents. And it's been a long journey, um, 17 years to be exact, in 10 months. And in days, I think that's like 1,652 days because I'm great at mass whānau, um, that we've been on this journey. When we launched in May 2004, we launched with the empty toolbox. And that empty toolbox was filled by you, our communities, our whānau, and people that supported whānau to thrive. So tēnei ka mihi kia koutou katoa. We're really excited today to be able to reflect on our journey and where we came to and our future journey. So thinking about that, we want to celebrate all the beautiful people that we've trained. And we've also been trained and taught by the many people that came to different trainings, all the kai that we shared, all the hui that we went to, to support whānau that knew what they need to support whānau to thrive. It's the many kapa teas, the many kai kais, and the beautiful initiatives that came out of kōrero and whakarono listening and hearing communities and acting on that. So we want to celebrate those. I can actually say we've had about a million resources distributed throughout the 17 years. Usually it's about 17,000 rauimi go out every month. It's amazing. And we will continue to do that. 
we want to acknowledge the journey that Skip has been on. And we have many kaupapa that we have been able to support for whānau to thrive. On our screen, hopefully, we'll be able to see a few whakāhua, few, um, a few um, images of that journey. Um, and we're really excited to be part of that. The many faces, the many communities, the faces that are still here today and the faces that aren't here. We want to acknowledge all the people that have been on this 17-year journey and its evolution into the future. So tēnei ka mihi kia koutou, and definitely a lot of hui. When design became a thing, we were there, we were in, kaita, in Kaikohe, we were in Kaitaia, where people were telling us we want to do it this way, Maraya and all of the Skip team, and we let them do it. Their whole trust and partnership with communities. So yeah, it's been a real exciting journey for us. We've had so many people that have come and gone in this journey, but we want to continue to be part of that. I also want to make a big shout out to everyone that was part of this journey and looking back at our kaupapa. Now at any time, make sure if you want to comment, comment away, let us know where you're coming in from and we'll make sure um, we um, acknowledge everyone. If we don't, I also want you to even send some memories of your journey as part of SKIP. So we're really excited to be part of this. Teresa from Dunedin, tēnei kamihi a te kia koe, and we've got Tyrone from Ōtautahi. Um, we've got Elaine from Palmerston North, um, and our Wellbeing Trust. Um, Skip has been, uh, this is a comment from one of our community that Skip um, has been there for learning around positive parenting and Laura from Ōtautahi, and we've also got Rachel Hilda all the way from Ōtautahi. We've got a big whānau around the motu, so we really want to acknowledge that. And part of that journey, we've had different people come in and out. I've mentioned it before, and definitely we want to celebrate those people. But we really, for us to really look at that, we've got a beautiful guest, one of the founding members, and we will have a whakāhua, a photo of some of the first, the first team of SCIP and their awesome mahi that they have, and the legacy that they have left for it to be so easy for us to support whānau. It was a different kaupapa then, um, but not very different to today. So we like to acknowledge the people that were part of the first skip when skip was launched. And one of those founding members was Elizabeth Goodwin. I think we're going to cross over to Elizabeth. Elizabeth Goodwin is a real close friend of mine and has been a mentor of mine. So it's a great thing for me to be part of this journey with her. But actually, before we go there, I might... Um, kia ora, Elizabeth. Kia ora. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. Now, where are you broadcasting from? Where are we talking to you from? I'm at Waikawa on the ah. Kapiti Coast and I'm sitting, ah. in the, sitting by the sea. Awesome. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Elizabeth. Oh, Mariah, I wasn't expecting that. Um, I, uh, uh, I'm a mum of two and a granny of three, and um, they are the most important things in my life. I've got a dog sitting on my knee who's also um, – I come from Fairley in the South Island. I was raised on a farm, so I'm pretty good at practical things. Um, I live in Wellington now, and um, I spend my time continuing the skip journey in a way, supporting parents of children with disabilities. And I think that's been one of the sort of gifts and the generosity of skip. And maybe you can talk more about it. When skip came, when skip was first dreamt about, what was it like, Elizabeth? Well, it was pretty extraordinary, really, because Gail um, got the contract to get this something off the ground to um, reduce the physical punishment of children. And I ran into her up here at Waikara and she said, oh, I'm starting this project. Do you want to come and join me? And I said, oh, that sounds good. Yep. So off we went and we were based in MSD in the policy team. And we were a couple of community people. We came from the NGO sector. And so we always did things a bit differently. 
And Gail was this extraordinary connector who was able to um, take people along with us and see the next step and the step after that. And my job was to fill that empty box you were talking about and to come up with the, the name and the brand and, and, and the resources. Um, and so we set about doing that. And um, Gail, of course, it, it was good at recruiting um, people and we became this team of people who were a bit different in MSD at the time. And we were really um, connected with community and that's the way we worked. I think that's been probably one of the cool things. Eh? I remember Skip being, people would say, I thought you were an NGO. I think yeah, yeah. if we think about the success of Skip, what would you what would you put that down to, Elizabeth? Well, to I, do you know, Mariah, I think it's co-design and I don't think we knew it was co-design at the time, but we were all, we had criteria that were quite basic, like we would work with people who supported children under five, um, and who were about positive parenting, and that was about the parameter. So that allowed us to partner with communities um, who wanted to do things differently, and we didn't ever sort of have a checklist of, yes, they meet this criteria. It was pretty basic. And they came up with ideas were, that were about them and their whanau, and, and they were excited by that, and it took off from there, really. Well, actually... Um, if you had a one kupu that could sum up your journey, Elizabeth Whitskip, what would that be? Or whakaro, or idea, or whatever? Well, uh, yeah, I've thought about this a lot. And, and um, there are, of course, there are a million things. But there's one thing that really um, taught me a lot. And that was a counsellor emailed us way back in the early days. And I'd gathered all these quotes from whānau. Um, and put them on fridge magnets. And so they were just really simple little messages like um, give them time, uh, do things together. And there was one that was, say, more positive than negative things. And the counsellor wrote to us and said she'd given the fridge magnets, say, more positive than negative things to a mum who had been really struggling. And the mum took it home and put it on her fridge and she tried it and it changed her life it changed her relationship with her child. Her relationship with her child became joyful and happy. And I and of course, there's nothing like the feedback of a child to make a mum, you know. Um, and I realised that actually light touch was everything and that it wasn't about telling, it was about just facilitating and being with and spreading messages that resonated. And, and that's where social change comes from. So, yeah, it was huge that little simple thing. Kapai. And it's those simple messages that we continue to have for Fano that are yep. really achievable and they're already doing. And I think that's been a value. And when Elizabeth talked about these people that Gail hired, even the people that Elizabeth hired into the team, <laughs> I think myself, I when I went to my interview, I had a scrapbook and she said, give me a piece of your writing. And I gave her a writing of a poem about my nanny catching kutus in her ring. So I think that's been one of the gems, eh, Elizabeth? Yeah, Finding it people. was in Toreo too, Mariah. <laughs> that's right. I, I, I went to this lady I'd never met before. I, I gave her a poem in te reo. So I'm and I thought, I thought there's some magic. We need that magic, I thought. <laughs> and it was a karu karu book whānau well Elizabeth tēnei ka mihi atu ki a koe thank you for all the aroha the love your whānau that you supported us um, throughout the years and continue to be part of that journey and you shared your own whānau with us on this journey and we really love to acknowledge the hard work yourself Gail and Kim Chamberlain and the many people that were part of um of establishing Skip and, and its evolution to where it is today in our launch of our new kaupapa of Kia Matua Rautu and bringing that to life. I also like to mihi to, we've got a few shout outs all the way in Whangarei, oh, Whanganui, Kian, oh, from our kohana reo there, kia ora te tuahine, and Daniel from Ōtautahi um, with his kids, pare, pare nui ria, aroha mai if I got that, and mihi wairua, tēnei ka mihi kia koe, Daniel, Kim Harris, all the way in Pōneke, we're in Pōneke, ka pai, and our 
beautiful Tara Moala. Her favourite memory was our young mums group making um, the Skip Tips app. And Tara was part of that journey where we had our, our mums group all the way in Glen Innes and supported our mamas group to develop an app. So we talk about our resources, definitely all part of that journey. Now, because we're overachievers in Skip and we like to test the system, and it's always been the journey. We try to like test different things because if we can get it right or a little bit right, let's try and test it out in communities. It's something we talk about through innovation. This morning at 5.40, oh, 5.30, we had the whakamoe ia skip to put skip to sleep. We went on a journey to celebrate, to remember, to acknowledge the journey we have been on with skip. And I'm gonna, we're going to go and see a small video of our whakamoe i te atanei. Hono mai. Ma hora te papa ura ki o takahada e. Nā unei te tapa e. Tapa, tapa, ie. Tapa, tapa, ie. Nā unei te taro e. This is a big mihi to all of you. So tēnei ka mihi kia koutou katoa kua hono mai. A big mihi to everyone that's coming. We're here at Hi Koi Koi um, in Patoni. Um, we've made sure that you were able to be part of our, our little karakia ki te whakamoe i a skip. Enari he nui nā kaupapa. Some people might be feeling a bit uh, mai mai or a bit saddened. So tēnei ka mihi kia koutou i te ata nei, i tēnei ata a tāhua, ka rehe hau. It's got a aroha feeling in my puku to say ki te whakamoe i a skip. But today, this morning, we really acknowledge the many people that have been on our journey or that have contributed to skip. And just remember your journey and your part in the skip whānau. And remember, a skip whānau is never lost. We're always together um, when we will continue to um, call each other and work with each other. Tēnei ka mihi, mai a mātou, kia mātua rautia e te whānau. Let's build a thriving village to raise our tamariki together. Nā mihi nui, ka kite. See Fano, lucky I've got good white teeth because it was dark out there and you know I'm not that, I'm not a pale complexion but tēnei ka mihi and that was just a little glimpse of what we did this morning at 5.30 and as overachievers we have a we have two more live streams, our Muriake Nei, our launch of our kaupapa going forward, Kia Mātua Rauti and making, bringing that alive. I want to send a big shout out to Janet who's in the Kapiti Coast. Um, and definitely if COVID was, was, wasn't was here, she definitely would be here. Donovan, the Foundation for Parent Resources, uh, or, yeah, talking about the parent resource and the parenting resource website, um, and fully integrated into our family start mahi. Um, we've got Marie Gibson, and she is a previous ECE um, kaimahi that um, uses the resources um, and help inspire positive parents' um, practices with her whānau. So tēnei ka mihi ki a koutou katoa. Um, I think thinking about that, we have been on a long journey, a design journey that took us around the motu, here in Kaitaia, all the way to Hiretauna, Tāneau, to a um, crossing over to Christchurch, where we had a few wānana over the last two years. Over 200 people participated in all these wānana. And one common theme that came out was that thriving village, that same old kōrero about it takes a village to 
raised tamariki. We went to Pōmare, we went to Wanganui, we went everywhere around the motu where we talked and shared with different whānau to really figure out what our paitawhiti was, what was going to be our future destination. But again, our whānau talked about, um, talked about that village that supports the whānau. So that is what became our mahi. So part of that design, we had online wānana because of COVID. Um, we had eight community kanohi ki te kanohi wānana, and here you can see some of the kanohi ki te kanohi, and here's some online stuff that we did using different technologies and supporting communities. Our national wānana, we had at least 100 people um, log into this, and around 68 stayed for the full five, eight, oh, five hours. Moe moya was some of the kupu that was heard. We had toi ora, different kaupapa that came out of the wānana that we needed to think about and really refocused us. Koa, happy. They wanted to hear more happy kaupapa when we're thinking about parents, especially in the early years. So it was amazing to hear that, but they also wanted to learn about child development and it needed to be evidence-based. Stronger Matarana Māori, awakening our DNA for a lot of us because it's always been there. So it's been an awesome journey, a design journey that actually brought in a ropu of community supporters, of whānau supporters called the Rangi Tukutuku. Rangi Tukutuku, they were a funny crew, a crew of artists, parents, uh, kai waiata, kai miri miri, people that do the miri miri. We had child development experts, we had brain experts, we had nannies, we had uncles, we had many people on our thing, on our kaupapa, Māori, Pacific and Tawiwi. So that group actually came up with our narrative and strengthened our narrative. And let's go over to two of the people that supported us. I'm going to, um, let's go and see what they're going to talk about. Kia whakarono wake ki te tani tuatahi. Ai he ahara. What is the first sound that we hear when the baby is born? Ko te tani. Ko te aue. The crying. Me ahara. Me ahara ki te pepe. Me tākai. Me tākai i te pepe. Our baby is born and the first sound we hear is the cry. Hearing the cry, we wrap our pepe. Ka tākai. Ka tākai. Ka tākai ki te poho o te ukaipo. Baby is wrapped and is taken to the poho with the mama. Kiri kite kiri, poho kite poho. Skin to skin, mama and baby sensing the warmth and the touch of each other's skin. The life force, teora. Heaha, kero no aia pepe. Baby starts to connect to the takai embracement of the wairua, mama. When I think about um, the word takai, I actually think of it in two contexts, both the wrapping and binding of a baby, as well as the wrapping and binding of your loved ones once they've passed. And both of them connect to the phrase kia takaia ki te komuri aroha, uh, which is a phrase that talks about being bound with the bond of love. You're wrapping them so that they keep safe um, because the moment that their hands and legs get out, they can move and get into danger. And while they're of a certain age, you wrap them with intention so that... Uh, they know that they are loved. But what you're doing is you're feeding them that intention and that can be absorbed by them. It's a bit like um, whakapapa, where um, your whakapapa, your DNA, um, is centuries old 
and uh, it has memory. And so each time you takai the child, what you're doing is you're imprinting memory into them. And the more key you put into that, that's more memory of love. Tama and hini, you press and drink all the miraka, all the milk of your mama. But one day you need to go and fly and be released from your dakai so that you one day will become the next generation to dakai and continue the stories, the buraka, and continue to create more dakai stories for whakapapa to come. I got you, you got me, we got each other. Takai na korero. Kia ora no hia. Kia ora tātai. E te iwi. Koera, ko tau mai te wā. No mai, whakatau mai ki tākai. As of today, Skip is now tākai and has uh, Hine Matioro mentioned it's all about working uh, as a village, as one to support our whānau, especially our tamariki. Takai is uh, also the traditional process of wrapping pepe to create a sense of security, attachment and warmth. And I think it's got its deeper um, meaning when we rukud into takai. Its origins come from waha, when we place baby on our tuara to, so baby can hear our heartbeat. Rep- it's, a, it's probably replicating that um, while, you know, when baby was in, in utero where they felt safe and secure. And I think that's part of our brain development that we continue to hear about. And we already knew about that through our different pūrāko. And I think when we think about te hine naro miharo, we think, we think it's something new, but it's actually something we've always had. Mm. Speaking of the brain, um, let's be more the way. Uh, kite nota, kite tai tokero. Uh, time to catch up with the wonderful brain expert, Fire Deb. Kia ora, Fire Deb. Kia ora, kia ora. Tēnā koutou nā manukurua uh, e te aki ana i a tātou tamariki mukapuna. E ki ana i te kōrero ko rātou nā rangitira mō apōpō. Nō reira, right. tēnā koutou. Tika te kōrero, Fire Deb. Now, of course, she was part of Rangituku Tuku. Uh, and also has been involved for Skip for, for many years. In fact, uh, Fire Deb, how many years? Well, actually, I was listening to Elizabeth speaking this morning. I was thinking I was sort of on the coattails of my mate, Lorraine Tarrant, and um, I saw the early photos of her. So, you know, generally, she said to, I think she said to me, do you want to come to this train? And I said, oh, what's it about? And she told me. So I went into that and... I met some amazing people and again, as Elizabeth said, we didn't really know about what co-design the term meant, but I, I always knew about what community development was. And basically for me, I'd always worked in that way. And I thought, well, this sounds like community development. How does the system get it right? You know, but um, what I got was a sense from um the people that were there was that they'd come from a community development model and even though they were in the system, that that's really what they were aiming for. Mm. Fire Deb, of course, how does Takai and Waha connect with neuroscience? Well, um, you know, it's as Mariah said, um, when I began to uh, research and look at um, the neuroscience, it was sort of like, gee, it it's, um, it's not so much, you know, overlaid on top of uh, Māori because our kaupapa, you know, which talked about our ideas, bringing them forward, for me it was we already had that knowledge and it was sort of like, you know, I always say that the neuroscientists found out in the 1990s, which is the decade of the brain, but our tupuna were parenting like that mairano always and... For them, and there's been many observations of, um, you know, the settlers that came here, whalers, sealers, missionaries, they couldn't believe. And even Samuel Marsden in 1814, 1814 
said these have to be the most amazing um, people on the planet because they are kind to their women and their tamariki, their children. And why was that? Because it was it was all about whakapapa. And our people already knew. Our babies were imbued with wairua. They were fresh from the other side, as Auntie Rose Pere has always expounded. And so for them, the wairua was already intact. All we had to do is their matua, as their um, supuna, was to actually raise them in the environment where they could flourish to their fullest potential. And our tupuna did that because for them, they were acute observers. And so they already knew that, um, you know, te tai ao was was our tuakana and we were the portiki. But actually, in terms of, of our tamariki, our mukapuna, they were up here in the north. The term that they used was koro for our babies because for them it was that they had knowledge from the other side that was imbued in them. And so they already knew that when they were talking to them, they were actually talking to our rangatira. So they were working alongside of them. In terms of the neuroscience, you know, when we think about growing resilience, executive function, all these terms that um, neuroscientists and developmentalists have come up with, actually, our people were practicing that because uh, tikanga Māori is about practice-based research. So we practiced in the ways that we knew would actually help people to reach their fullest potential and particularly for our babies. So, you know, I've often heard um, one of the kaumatua when I was down in um, Uawa and uh, Te Aitanga uh, Hawiti, he said to me, you know, I don't, I don't know um, this neuroscience stuff you're talking about, Deb, but he said, I remember that when we were in the Marakai, he said, if anyone was carrying hara, bad energy, he said they were asked to leave. And he said, you know the other thing? He said they were not allowed to handle the babies. You see, our people already knew and understood that transmission of energy. And so for them, the energy that anybody was carrying had to actually be an energy that would help our babies to flourish and grow. It wasn't. So that's why our, our tamari he went harmed or hurt because it was always about whakapapa and whenua and so for them to grow potential in whakapapa you would not damage the potential that was coming through in that whakapapa so yeah what I what I began to learn really was actually our tupuna were very much already embedded that knowledge around neuroscience is just a new terminology really and our tupuna were already practicing that. So, you know, when I listen to Shay and I listen to Kine Matsuya order, order um, speaking, like for me, it's already reigniting or reconfirming with us at a cellular level in our memory cells what our tupuna already knew. And so, you know, I use that term wherever I'm working, wake up your DNA because it's in us. Mm, kia ora. And finally, at the fire, what's your moi moi a as we move into the next phase of Tākai? Oh, my moi moi a is, has always been, you know, today is the commemoration in 1830, what, what is termed as the Girls' War in Kororareka. Mm. And for me, again, um, what happened here on the foreshore of Kororareka was a reminder to us of how our tupuna thought and in a way moving forward was around the potential for all of us to grow in the way that we can embrace who we are more fully. And so for me, it's the acknowledgement of Modi that exists within us, you know, and the future is our tamariki. So we have to be invested in that. And in terms of the village, whatever your village looks like, whether you're in a rural community or whether you're in a city, grow the potential within there. And, you know, 
te kai a rangatira, he kōrero, he kōrero, he kōrero. The opportunity for us to grow that potential with the ability to sit down and hui, whatever that is, whatever the kaupapa or the take is, to be able to have that ability. So that's how I see um, Pākai moving forward, is just to embrace um, the potential of who we are and grow that. Tēnā koe, te marae kūra moisa. An honour to hear your kōrero and, and whakaro, and hence the reason why Marae is, uh, you're a mentor to our tuahine. So, uh, mihi ana kia koe, tēnā koe. Tēnā koe. Ka pai. I want to take a small mihi to everyone, and especially to whai dev, um, tēnei ka mihi kia koe, atu i koro rāre ka te pai o taua wa whenua, but also to our different friends that have a uh, 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 linking in i te ata nei. Ana Moa tuning in from Peel Forest in the sunny clouds of Taratawa, Peel, and I think that's the name of Pe um, Peel Forest, sending her aroha to the whanau. Hine Matioro, um, you would have seen her, one of our Rangitukutuku members, and also um, was part of our whakamoe this morning. So Hine Matioro Duncan from Avalon Lower Hut, and Ruku Wini Aroha Mai Keen, tuning in from Ototahi Christchurch. Big shout out to everyone that is uh, streaming in. Uh, and, and also just a reminder, we're going to be back here from 11.30 uh, later on this morning. Hoeno, tākai. Mihi ana ki tēnei kaupapa whakaharahara. It's all about wrapping the village of supporters, you know, having that marae uh, hapori village support. So um, these tools can be many things. Uh, a kaputi, a kōrero. You want to go deep into wānanga, kai a koe te tikanga. Uh, that's what it's all about, coming together together. Kia kotahi ai ngā whakaaro, e kia tika ngā mahi, hei tia ki ngā tamariki mokopuna. We all know, uh, today is also the launch of the new Ipurangi website, takai.nz. So take a look around, explore the kaupapa. Uh, this website is designed for all whānau supporters. There's literally hundreds of activities, play activities, kōrero, neuroscience, te hine naro miharo, there for you in plain English and te reo Māori to support you, to support whānau even better. So we're really excited. It's packed with heaps of things, videos, a sort of a one-stop place for whānau supporters when we're think, thinking about te orana or nga whānau supporters, because a lot of our whānau supporters forget to look after themselves. So there's a segment around orana that looks at your own reflective learning, but a huge base. And we will be working with our partners, people like Brainwave Trust, uh, Talking Matters, um, and different communities to keep building that community and also looking at Matauranga Māori and our Matauranga of the Pacific and bringing those Pacific narratives into the space. So keep an eye out for that. It's really exciting. Yeah, tikatakai.nz. Uh, on the website, you'll also find some new takai resources. Now, these resources are based on the voices of community, on the voices of Fano, and uh, some beautiful imagery, which we've seen uh, throughout the show today, uh, the colours of whakapapa, wrapping around the tools and information. Now, Takai also has putea to fund innovative community initiatives. If you've got a whakaro, you need some putea tautoko, tirohia ki te purangi, takai.nz. And even better, our tuahine marae and her team will help you fill out that application. Now, of course, Takai is all about playing, learning, and growing together. So please share your ideas and whakaro. Uh, no i tēnei wā, we have a special message uh, for, from the Minister for Children. He mokopuna mai te tai toke rau, uh, tōna karanga mai rā ki tōna hapu a Ngāti Manu. Uh, hoe no ko tai mai te reo uh, of the Honourable Calvin Davis. Tēnā tātou, tēnei te mihi ki a koutou katoa. Today is Te Rā o Ngā Tamariki, Children's Day, a day to come together and celebrate Tamariki. I want to give a huge shout out and happy Children's Day to all Tamariki in Aotearoa. But today I also want to especially acknowledge the unsung heroes in Hapuri across the motu, the village who wrap around Fano. These are the selfless people from Fano, Hapu, Iwi and Hapuri who, above else, show kindness, give aroha, and put in the mahi to help lighten the load. They're all of our aunties, uncles, grandparents, cousins. 
the local fish and chip shop owner who looks out for Tamariki, the school bus driver who slows down to keep Tamariki safe. And they're also our ho-water professionals, whānau navigators and social workers. These people come from different walks of life but are united in the aroha and the manaki they have for whānau, even in tough times. The age-old saying, it takes a village to raise a child, is just as true today. Or in other words, kia matua rautia, let there be a thousand parents. That's also the vision of Takai, which launches today. Takai is the process of wrapping Pepe and Tamariki to create a sense of security and safety. And I cannot think of a better name to acknowledge the evolution of skip, wrapping Afi and Aroha around Fano, communities and our Tamariki. It can take just one trusted person to make a huge difference for Fano. So thank you for all that you do every day. It really helps work towards our shared vision of Aotearoa being the best place in the world for children and young people. Nō reira, kei ngā rau awawa o te waka o whakaro nui, o ngā kau tītikaha ki te kaupapa, nei rā te mihi ki a koutou katoa. E te iwi, e te minita, tēnei ka mihi ki a koe, e te minita, the Honourable Calvin Davis. And I think we've got a few shout-outs and yes. comments. Yes, mihi ana ki a waikura a komo, a tuning in from Te Wakairangi, have always used Skip resources for our whānau, a brilliant resource. Also, Kim Harris, uh, just saying beautiful. And Mihi Wairua, oh, te atahu o te ingoa. My op, hopefully I got that tika e hua kā rawe tēnā. And also to Katrina Nuku, all the way from my little valley in Ruatoki. Yeah. She's one of our family start kaimahi um, at Tuhoi Hauora. Ana Mauer again, so, so right, fire Deb. E tika ana, we are awakening our DNA. Um, so tēnei ka mihi kia koutou. So Fano, that's us for the launch of Takai. Join the village. Um, let's have a kōrero. Let's have a cup of tea. Share some ideas. Well, when we can have a cup of tea, might have a virtual one. Um, what you're noticing in your community and how might we be able to support you to work even awesomer in your community. Welcome to the village and welcome to Takai. I take a no mai hara mai ki tākai and also a reminder there's more to come you know hey fa ka nui ai nga tamariki o ao te aroa puta no ai nga motu fa nui uh, we have created something extra special uh, for all tamariki and fano uh, to enjoy at home and to watch together tune back at about 11:30 uh, this morning at about half an hour's time on the tākai facebook page or the children's day new zealand facebook page Monga Fakaritinga, a live Children's Day celebration. I'll be back with my Tuahine Mariah uh, to bring you some wonderful entertainment. We've got Warren Maxwell, of course, former Trinity Roots uh, band member, Fat Freddy's Drop. Honey Dread is in the mix with some Waiata, the Squad Sisters, and some storytelling. Plenty of games with Nikki and Kimura. We'll hear from the Children's Commissioner as well. Uh, a chance to win some prizes and uh, have a bit of a stretch with some yoga and some uh, beautiful kaupapa with the leper sisters. Hoia no e tiwi. To close us off, let's cross back to our tamariki, uh, ngā tamariki o te kohu, arara ngā pōtiki o uta kaiakoe te wāti hei. Mauri ora! Now, what's the
it takes a village to raise a child. With your appearance, caregiver, aunt, cousin, quarrel, nan, the local bus driver or the fish and chip shop owner, together we can help tamariki and Fano thrive. Takai is a kaupapa that wraps around the awesome people who provide afi for Fano of our littlest tamariki under five. Through Raumi, Hononga, Ako and Putia to bring ideas to life, Takai taps into the energy of the village, weaving threads of traditional storytelling with parenting in the modern world. And to make sure we're meeting the needs of Fano and the village who support them, we're working with communities across the motu to create new resources and opportunities to play, learn and grow together. Kia matua rautia. Standing on the shoulders of many, we are a thriving village raising children together. We are Takai.